Yeah. What's up, guys? This is a uh, formal uh, little ritual beast deck profile featuring my friend Brendan. So uh, let's get into the list. All right, fam. So we got here. Wait, can you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're good. We're good. Make sure your videos on shit. Yeah, we're on. Trailers. Uh, this is the caster of the deck. So um, drawing him and a, and a spiritual beast will give you a really good start. Preferably Candle Hawk, but I'll get to that later. Yeah. Uh, I'll play three Laras. Uh, normally you think she's a little foggy, but she has a 2,000 butt, so it's like I don't really find it all that foggy to be honest. And if you draw multiples of it and you're able to make a fusion like Ulti Candle Hawk, sending it to Gary to search, you always have this for the next play, and it's fucking amazing. Um, two wins. Uh, when, to be honest, uh, it's a pretty. The only times where I really use when is if I use it as a combo piece, I add off Candle Hawk and I have a normal summon yet, or I just top deck this. And it's literally a miracle thing going on. So yeah, I play two win, and that's enough for the teamers. Um, for the spiritual beast, I play three Kenoff. Kenoff is a staple of spiritual beast of the deck, and you have to. Uh, it's a gold stock, but half the time you do not really wait two turns to actually add it to your hand. You actually use it for your fusions and your tag outs and whatnot. Um, the next important, the next important spiritual beast is two Apelio. Uh, Apelio banishes from the graveyard to gain 500. The 500 is just a little plus thing, but the banishing from the graveyard is actually really essential for the simple fact that. Um, say you only play like like the one pedal fin I play. I play one pedal fin. So if I have it in the graveyard and I banish it to gain 500 and whatnot, uh, this will always be a tag out option. And we play one red pengu. Uh, I see a lot of people play two or a lot of three, but no, one red pengu is pretty fine because. Uh, pulling off Rampengu, I understand it's a 1600 attack win, but Rampengu's effect is kind of worse than a Paleo's, let alone Petal Fins. Because you have to banish one of these resources to actually send one of the same tech to the graveyard, and most likely by the time you actually pull this off, all of the spiritual beasts are kind of in your grave, you banish and whatnot. And one Tempest. Tempest is just a plus card. Uh, if, it, if you're, as I said, spiritual beasts are in the graveyard, and no Lara's here to save you, you have fucking Tempest so you can tag out. Basically, Tempest, uh, Petal Fin, all that, they're, they're just here for tag outs. Giving you options to tag out whenever you want. Um, onto the spells, uh, three space. Uh, I might cut this down to two to be honest, but I do not like vanities whatsoever. Uh, vanities or any other floodgate like Iron Wall or, or Mistake, I, I really don't like it. Though I do side Mistake. Um, if like Mistake has changed my ulti Cannon Hawk, it's pretty bad. Uh, three upstarts. Uh, draw. This is a combo deck, so drawing is life. Uh, two Italies. Uh, people play three Italies, but I do not want to open up with multiples. When the Gaia Pelio thing comes out, then I'll play three. But for now, I'll just play two because when you just draw the one along with like a spiritual beast, it's it goes from a pretty bad hand to like a pretty good hand when you draw the Italy. So that's that. And uh, two soul absorption, which really pulled out for the end of the game. Yeah. Uh, as you go for your combo, you're constantly gaining thousands, hundreds of life points. So if you open up with an Elder Cannon Hawk play, you're probably at like fucking 13,000 life points at the end of your turn. Yeah, that's ridiculous, that card. Uh, then that one ups, one Snatch Steel, obvious. One Foolish. Uh, I'm not pretty sure if I want to take it out, but um, the Laras and the Tempest that it's pretty good for, I just keep it in. Uh, the one Bond. Um, uh, I was playing Volcanics earlier today, and uh, uh, he scatter shotted me, and I had um, two, and I had two spiritual beasts, and I just like chained to scatter shot, chain bond, and I went for the ulti penalty, and that was that was that. Um, you play one gold Uh just like Hannah Hawk, and how you need your mouse is banished for tag on options. Gold Yeah. Uh, one D Fisher. Uh, D Fisher is well. As I said, you like to have your monsters banished so you can tag out. So playing cards like D Fisher and Macro are good for you, and sometimes bad for the opponent. So it's just a, a good fun game you can play. And one Regeki. Nice. Uh, for the traps, three speeds. This card is goddamn ridiculous. Uh, stopping your opponent from actually going off with their plays, and then for you to just go explosive on the next turn is actually pretty good. And what's good about it, um, Steeds, is that if you chain ambush along to it, uh, Steeds, it doesn't target anything. So when you play Steeds, you just chain ambush, and then you just destroy monsters equal to the spiritual beast you have, and that just 
really good. Uh, then you play macro as a cinema beef issue, you like to have your monsters banished and it's a floodgate. Yeah. And Waddleness and Warning. So that's enough for the main deck. Yeah. Extra deck, um, three ulti Ganox. This is one of the ace cards of the deck. This is literally like the Dante burning of this. Yeah, I love that card. Uh, what's, pretty good, what's pretty nasty about him is say you have uh, Tamer and you have two spiritual beasts in your um, banish. You activate his effect and you target the two spiritual beasts and then you chain his effect to tag out and then you special summon one of the spiritual beasts and one of the tamers and then you let the other spiritual beasts go to the graveyard and you search. Yeah. And then you're free to make another one and go search again. Um, three ulti Apelios. This is just a big beat stick. Has a little star eater effect. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Uh, two pedal fin. Uh, as I said, well, this is, only, this is only an example I can bring up today. I guess the um, Volcanics earlier today Dolphins where I can um, just go pedal fin to chain the scatter shot. Yeah. Uh, Infernic Seas, Chidori, 101, Castell, Exiton, Cowboy, Dweller. Dweller is pretty freaking good against Necros. Especially if you know you get your little seeds play and you go off from there and then you just end things off with a Dweller. They can't come back from by adding that spell because in the standby phase, you just attach. And on top of that, if you steal like a Unicorn Snatch Steal, Dweller becomes a little 22 beats, like pretty special. And well, one Strike Bouncer. I only play Strike Bouncer because I don't know what else to put in, but I'm thinking of taking him out for Levy here because when can just add another, when can special another when and you make Levy here and go for Spiritual Beast. That's pretty more combo based. And that's enough for the extra deck. My sides are pretty crappled up, so I'm not going to do that. But, okay. yeah. Spiritual Beast and what they bring to the format right now, I think Thank they're, they're a very uh, nice, uh, cheaper deck, and mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty fun to play. So, thanks to the deck profile. Cool. Signing out. Peace. Mm -hmm.